All right, we're pleased to have Kansas join us. We will uh, get things started with an uh, opening statement from Coach Self. Well, we're ecstatic that we're here. Uh, you know, we played really well defensively and rebounding the ball the first half and didn't have as much to show for it considering uh, uh, Providence couldn't make a shot. And of course, we really couldn't either. And second half, percentages kind of prevailed and the lid came off for them and, and uh, really never came off for us. But we hung in there and grinded and, and uh, had some guys make some big individual plays uh, when really we didn't have much offense going at all. So couldn't be happier that we get a chance to play on, on Sunday. All right, we'll take questions. Please raise your hand if you have a question. Start here down on the left. This, this one for Bill. We saw, and I'm Aaron Lamb with KSHB out of Kansas City. We saw two one seeds fall yesterday. Is there any additional pressure that comes along with that? Do you feel that? Is it feeling different? Uh, I, I personally don't think so. Do you no. guys think so? I, no. Not at all. I, I think, uh, I do think that uh, in, in, in sports, when things don't go your way uh, offensively uh, and the other team has momentum and they're playing with a freer mind coming back. I do think that, you know, sometimes that basket shrinks a little bit and I think that did tonight and then we, we but we got some good driving baskets. I know Remy made a big one and then Jay Will made two or three and, and uh, David made a big one there late. But but there was a there was enough individual plays taking place that allowed us kinda to, to get through it. Next question on the first row on the right. Jay Will, the board, jayoxlane.com. For Coach or any of you guys, obviously an um, emotional game, especially kind of late in the second, ha or second half. What do you guys do to, to kind of remain in the element of the game and not look too far ahead or, or not try to make too many plays ahead and, and kind of just take it one play at a time? Jalen, you want to take that? I mean, uh, considering that we come from the toughest conference in the country, uh, we've seen games like this almost every single night. And uh, I think we're just so well prepared for anything. Uh, especially, you know, them going up one late like that. You know, we just got to remain calm, continue to play our game, and uh, just know this can't get too high or low. Gore in the middle here in the front row. CJ Moore with The Athletic. Uh, one for Bill and then one for the players. Bill, what did you see there late when you uh, called the lob play for, for Oach? We actually uh, called it in the timeout before. If they go zone, let's, let's run our play. And... and uh, uh, <laughs> You know, sometimes uh, uh, when you're really struggling and you got a guy that can go upstairs like that, sometimes that's the easiest basket you can get. So, uh, and we've always liked throwing them. And, and they took they took away our back doors and our lobs all night long. But but we we, ca we caught them on on that one uh, just because it was probably unexpected. They were in man though. They, they switched to man. Nah, I think it was still a two-three zone. Uh, we we screened we screened the middle man. So I still think it, even though it may have looked man looked different. Yeah. Uh, we went ahead and ran it because we thought they were still in their 2-3. Guys, what – oh, sorry. Hot mic. Uh, what do you guys think when he calls a lob there just at, at that point in the game? You, you know, I think they were probably expecting a high ball screen. Like, that's yeah. – Remy, you want to take that? Uh, we trust in our coach, man. We got the best coach out there. So, um, you know, he's been through this, and he knows how to win games. So, whatever he calls, we, we uh, execute. And, um, you know, CB made a great pass, and – and Oach, you know, got up there and uh, and dunked it, man. Oach makes some he makes some big plays that people don't understand. Uh, he rebounds the ball. He makes some big plays defensively. So um, overall, man, but that that play and really sparked us and really got us going. Stay in the front row in the middle. Uh, Matt Tate, Lawrence Journal World. Jalen, they get the one point lead and and it looked like you were determined to, to go get it right back. Can, can you just talk about your mindset at that point? Uh, I mean, I just I saw how like excited they were getting, you know, they were starting to talk a little bit and, you know, I'm so confident in me and my team that I know that, you know, that fuels us just as much. So uh, and plus we, we never get rattled. Like I said, we, we've seen every single type of game, every single type of situation. So I'm just always confident in, you know, whatever comes our way. Pass or, or shot on the one that Dave put back? Pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. We'll go to the second row on the left. Bill, uh, Bahe Gregorian, Casey Starr, and for Bill and Remy particularly, uh, Jalen just made reference to we never get rattled. How do, how do you process that when you've kind of got control of the game, it appeared you did, and really it doesn't feel like that anymore? What did you try to get across to them? And, and if Remy, I'll, I'll follow up with you in a sec. Well, I, I don't know that I totally buy in 100% that we don't ever get rattled. But, but uh, I do think that, as, as Jalen said, I, I think our league has prepared us 
in a way where you play so many close games and, and every game is a fist fight. You know, that, that game today, you know, we didn't shoot a free throw the first half and neither team got in the bonus and I think they only shot five and that was a really physical game. And it was called a little bit, don't you think, a little tighter the second mm -hmm. half. And, and uh, uh, But I, I think our guys have enough uh, individual confidence that when things don't go well as a team, they think that they can go make an individual play. And sometimes it doesn't work out that way, but, but, but tonight it did. Like, they had the lead for, what, 15, 20 seconds? And, and that was big because they had all the momentum. But I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Jay Will got a three-point play right after that to push it right back to two. And Remy, just a sort of a follow-up to that too. It, it looked like, along with Jalen, you had a couple moments where you could see that you guys need to turn it back. And I just wonder what you reached for that you that enabled you to, to have those moments. Oh uh, well, we just you know all, all the practices, everything that we've done, um, leading up to this point, um, we were very back to that. Man, we worked really hard in practice. Um, we do what needs to be done. We listen to coach and. Um, you know, once we're in that, those type of environments, we just revert back to that and, and um, you know, stay calm and let each other know that, you know, they're going to go through their runs. But as long as we stick together like we've been doing the whole season, uh, we're going to get through this. Go on the front row on the right. Bill, what, what are you seeing from Ochai during this shooting slump that he's enduring? Well, I, I think it's, uh, you know, the way that we play uh, isn't isolation. It's, it's, you know, getting shots off of uh, – off offense, getting shots off the catch or whatever. And I'll be honest with you, Ed and his staff, they, they did a great job on Oach. They, they took away back doors. They took away lobs. Uh, uh, you know, they guard him with six, six guys with length. So, you know, you can play a half step off and still be close enough to contest. So, uh, you know, I, I don't think that, you know, we can look at it as a shooting slump. And, and I guess it is. But when you only take eight shots, I don't know if I ever consider that a slump. Uh, 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 I know one thing, the lid will come off. Eventually, and when it does, I mean, it'll be good for KU people. But, but, uh, uh, but right now, I, I think he's doing enough stuff to help us win, and and uh, we've had other guys step up, so we, we don't put too much too much emphasis on that at all. It wasn't just the um, the bucket after they took the lead, but also the first time they tied it, you took it to the basket and got a bucket. Was there something about both of those plays that had some symmetry as far as you? having the mindset that you wanted to get the ball to the basket as soon as, you know, to try and break up those momentum plays? Uh, I think we just, you know, figured out that us getting to the cup, us creating contact and getting to the free throw line was going to be beneficial to us winning. And uh, I just saw, you know, different gaps that I could get into, and, uh, create a foul or, you know, create some type of uh, action. So, you know, just within the flow of our offense, you know, finding those driving lanes really. Go all the way to the back on the left. Jalen, well, this one's for you. 14 boards against Creighton, 10 in the first half of this one. You finish with 11. It's dirty work, but it gets rewarded. Uh, is that just kind of a thing you've kind of taken ownership of, especially this run that you've had so far in March? Yeah, I mean, we toughest team will always win. Uh, you know, I try to be the toughest guy on the court that I can be and also have the toughest team on the court. So I feel like with that mindset that we have, you know, chip on our shoulder, I mean, we'll be able to get through any situation like tonight. We're going to go all the way on the right side. Yeah, Bill, Adam Rittenberg with ESPN. I just wondering how you feel about your defense coming out of this one. I know you were asked yesterday it had been getting better. How, how do you feel coming out of this game? Well, I, I mean, we guarded today. We guarded. Uh, uh, we had some breakdowns the second half. But I don't know that you wouldn't have breakdowns the second half when you're kind of on your heels when they're coming back. Uh, uh, you know, we gave up 44 points the second half. That's way too many. Uh, but but uh, overall, I, I think I think it's getting better. Our, our first shot defense was pretty good. They hurt us on the glass a little bit the first half, but uh, I, I do think we're more connected defensively than we have been all year. Go to the second row on the left. Yeah, Jesse Noel can't say star. Bill uh, is kind of building off of that. What did you think of Remy's defense in the final three or four minutes? For you I, I thought it was good. I, I, I wouldn't recommend fouling a three-point shooter. At, <laughs> At, uh, up seven, but I, I, I actually thought that Remy's defense has, has really improved as much as anybody's in, uh, over the last uh, three or four weeks. And, and uh, you know, he's trying to do what we want him to do and, and pressuring the ball. And, you know, the first half, their offense was really starting high on the court. Second half, not as high. But the first half is really high on the court in large part because of ball pressure. So I, th I, th I think it was good. Uh, uh, I, th I think that where we struggled was. Uh, off the high ball screen the second half. And Durham was able to get downhill, and our bigs really didn't get up there and plug it very well. But give them credit, you know, he's pretty good getting downhill and so athletic. So uh, that's something that we can certainly tighten up. Go to the front row on the right. 
Jalen, how big was Remy the first half? And Bill, comment please on David McCormick tonight, his performance. I mean, this is the second game in a row where he's came out in the first half and, I mean, just completely taken over. Uh, he's playing with so much confidence and, you know, we love it. You know, we love him playing like that and, you know, we need him playing like that. And I mean, he's been able to save us out of situations when we need a shot late in the clock. I mean, he's able just to create his own shot and that's something that not a lot of guys can do, especially at his speed. So, you know, we're just loving his confidence. And I, I actually thought uh, David struggled tonight, uh, but I also thought we wouldn't win the game without him. So, you know, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. But, you know, I didn't, I didn't think he rebounded the ball uh, or, or, or defended his position very well early. Uh, and he had the couple of touches in there that we came away with nothing that could have been points. But at the end of the day, you know, he, he delivered for us when, he can, when it counted. Go to the aisle on the left side here. Hey, Coach, uh, earlier this week, you, w, Marlia Campbell at WIBW, earlier this week you talked about how you guys are trying to adopt the mindset of making your opponent play bad as opposed to focusing on, you know, knocking everything down offensively. Both teams were in the 30s from the field tonight and in the teens from threes. Do you think your guys have uh, adopted that mindset? Well, I, I certainly hope so because that's how we're playing it right now. So I, 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 I don't think uh, – I, th I think uh, the first half was about as well we could guard. Uh, so, you know, I told the guys at halftime, you know, when another team shoots it like they shot it and how we guard them, only to be up nine, that's not a great sign. And, and uh, uh, but, you know, we made them play poor. They made us play poor. Uh, but, you know, if the other team can't score, you're not going to lose very often. And even though we didn't guard them great the second half, I, I think the totality of the game, certainly that played to our favor. Got time for two more questions. We're going to go on the aisle on the right side. Yeah, Zach Boyer from the Lawrence Journal World. Uh, Jalen and Remy. How comfortable do you guys feel winning these ugly games, especially when the offense isn't working? I mean, if it gets ugly and, you know, it comes to defense and rebounding and playing like that, then if we win like that every game, I'm not really tripping. I mean, that's, that's how it is. I mean, we, when everybody's good on the floor, you got two good teams, two good coaches, games will get like that. And, you know, like Coach said, if our offense is bad, but you got to make them play worse than us, really. Last one, front row. Bill and Jalen. Uh, you guys went at 14 a lot. You had Jalen going at 14 a lot. Was that in the game plan to, to attack him? And did you anticipate that, that Jalen would probably be the guy he'd, he'd be guarded? Well, yeah. You know, Jalen started on him and, you know, just naturally four versus four. So, so uh, uh, I don't think our game plan was necessarily to attack a player. I think our game plan was more we need to get the ball to Jalen because he was the most efficient guy we had driving it downhill. Uh, I would just, you know, like like he said, with with them playing the way they was playing, uh, when we move the ball and then I'm able to, you know, get a close out from the slot, I mean, it's kind of hard to guard, especially with how fast we're moving like that. So I just took advantage of, you know, our offense and me finding different angles to get to the cup. All right, gentlemen, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you for your time. Thank you.